Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, and happy Meatless Monday. Um, in this episode, I want to uh, address a topic that um, I've seen come up a lot in the vegan forum, that I'm, the vegan group on Facebook that I'm a part of and that I moderate. Uh, and that is, what are the best fruits for your post-workout shake, the post-workout window? Well, let me start by saying that the post-workout window hasn't really been confirmed. Like, it's, it's still considered bro science. Like, it hasn't really been confirmed to really exist or really matter. And there's some reading on that down in the uh, references uh, in the video summary, the description of the video, as usual. Um, there's actually a study I, I posted there on that. Um, now, what I have to say about that is, yes, I do use post-workout shakes, but that is what I feel I personally need. Why? Because I feel sick after I work out, after the exertion I put myself through, the way that I work out, the intensity in which I lift, um, that if I don't take that shake, I feel nauseated. So that's just personal anecdote there. But for that reason, I do use a post-workout shake. So my advice to you is that it doesn't hurt to use a post-workout shake. And if it makes you feel better, that's great. So to answer the question of what are the best fruits for your post-workout shake, well, let's dive into that. Let's, 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 let's dive into the mechanics of it first. I want to start by saying that for refilling muscle glycogen, glucose is the way to go. You see, fructose, which is the, which is what's primarily found in most fruits, the kind of sugar, um, metabolizes primarily in the liver through a process known as fructolysis. It is more efficient at refilling liver glycogen stores, not muscle. Now, that being said, only 15 to 18% of ingested fructose is actually converted to glycogen anyway. Um, thus, it is optimal to consume food sources higher in glucose for the purpose of refilling muscle glycogen quickly and efficiently. So, what are some of the whole food sources of glucose that you might ask, um, that are higher in glucose, that is? Well, I'm going to go through a top 10 list uh, based, you know, going from the most to the, to the least of the top 10. And this is based on a 200 calorie serving of each of the following. Um, dried apricots. They contain approximately 27,454 milligrams of glucose per 200 calorie serving. That, again, I'm just going to say that now because that 200 calorie serving applies to all of these. Pineapples, 25,663 milligrams of glucose. Medjool dates, which is commonly used by vegans. Vegans love medjool dates. I'm constantly seeing it as being like one of the favorites. Um, and for good reason with 24,322 milligrams of glucose. Pomegranate juice with 23,253 milligrams of glucose. Grape juice with 22,700 milligrams of glucose. Raw plums uh, with 22,046 milligrams of glucose. Cherries with 21,667 milligrams of glucose. Um, Maybe I'm pronouncing this wrong, but guanabana nectar or guanabana nectar with 21,597 milligrams of glucose. Prunes with 21,219 milligrams of glucose. And mango nectar with 20,821 milligrams of glucose. Now, let's look at dextrose powder, which is pure glucose in an isolated powder form. The average dextrose serving in powder form is 10 calories at 3 grams per teaspoon. So a 200 calorie serving of dextrose would come to about 60 grams of glucose or 60,000 milligrams. That is twice to three times as much glucose than any of the op top options that I had mentioned. Um, now, personally, I prefer to use dextrose powder when aiming for, po for post-workout carbs. As I feel you, as you get more glucose, bang for your caloric buck using an isolated source like that. But for those of you that are seeking a whole food, whole food alternative to uh, an isolated power, powder carb source, this video should have provided you some options to give a try to uh, that can vary for your tastes. Now, beyond this, you just want to add in whatever protein source you desire to, um, to round out your post-workout shake where you get your carbs and your protein. Um, 
Anyway, that's really all I have to say on that. I thought that this informative video might help some of you out there who, who are, again, more into, for whatever personal reasons you have, uh, getting more from Whole Foods, um, even post-workout, than from a, an isolated source. If you have any questions or any comments, please do feel free to leave them below. Um, I do have one more thing I want to add. Um, when I say that those fruits contain that glucose, it also contains fructose too. Fruit tends to contain um, some combination of fructose and glucose, uh, for example. Um, it might be a little higher in glucose in some fruits, a little lower in fructose in some fruits, a little higher in fructose, obviously, in some fruits that didn't make the list, and a little lower in glucose in those fruits. Um, but typically speaking, most fruits contain some combination of glucose and fructose. But the numbers I gave you were the pure glucose numbers of those specific fruits in that list. I just wanted to put that aside in there. Anyway, like I said, any comments or questions, please drop them below. Um, I'll see you guys on Friday for a regularly scheduled episode. Until then, stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. Have a good week and see you around.